what do you think will it take for African societies or regions to get closer to the standard of living as Europe? Uh, there's a few things. I mean, it, for a start, corruption is rife globally. We know that. In Asia, it's obviously rampant, even, and also in the West. But you know what I feel from the superficial knowledge that I have about it is that in the West, they line their pockets with a Rolex here and a business class trip to a free hotel there. Whereas I find that in Africa, they don't skim a little bit off. Like if it's a $10 million contract in the West, like I say, they might take a, a, a gifted car mm. that you might not know about. But in Africa, they seem to take nine million of the ten million. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And there's a million left. Well, I think, and there's another issue I would say is that oftentimes, let's say if you're a corrupt official in the United States, you're going to take that money that you stole and and put it in a bank in the United States or buy a house in the United States. The difference in Africa is that when they get that, they buy their house in Switzerland. Yeah, yeah. So in other words, the money doesn't kind of recirculate in the economy. They take it outside the the continent, and so therefore, I mean, corruption. Is not horrendous if the money stays circulating in the economy. So well, it's still not great, but yeah. No, obviously, right. But, but if you had to yeah, choose yeah. between the two. Yeah, yeah, sure. Right. Um, but it all just comes down to education. And like I mentioned earlier about the tribalism, it's so difficult because the, cult, the culture of Africa is so different from the culture of the, of the West that even when they try to divide up countries into state lines, mm -hmm. they're ultimately they're divided on tribal level. You know, So then t for people to vote sensibly and intelligently based on policy versus based on whatever tribe someone belongs to is such a hard nut to crack you know what i mean sure it's like if, if someone believes that but you guys were tribal in ireland and the uk yeah but our tribes were minorly different you know what i mean right. there was only marginal differences mm -hmm. and it all then comes down to education which comes down to wealth so it's, it's mm -hmm. i mean I, i'm not so hopeful mm -hmm. to be honest